Hello and welcome to the new video from the Gamesmas. So one month ago Jonas raised a challenge of creating 50 games in one day. And although I'm late, but let's jump into Unity and see what I made. The first game is simple. You just have to collect those falling balls without letting any of them hit the ground or else you die. For the second game, you have to go under each of those randomly generated boxes and shoot them. The third game is like the first one, but the main difference here is that you have to dodge the falling balls in spite of collecting them. The fourth game is a simple maze in which you have to go from one side of the screen to the other side. For the fifth game, I made a normal platformer game. The sixth one is a quick reaction game in which you have to click on those randomly generated squares before they disappear. The seventh game is a Flappy Bird replica but you have to move using the up and down arrows. For the eighth one, it's a kinda of a quick reaction game in which you have to shoot boxes by pressing the arrows relative to their location. For the ninth game, you simply have to cross the screen without hitting any of those circles. The next one is a silly one actually, but hey, I gotta do it. So it's just a game in which you have to shoot this moving ball. After that I remade it, but this time the player moves left and right, not being controlled. Then I made a game in which you try to move around the level collecting some randomly generated boxes. Now another Flabby Bird replica but you have to switch gravity to control the character. For the 14th game it's a gravity controlled game in which you have to collect coins by controlling the gravity effect on them. Then again the same idea but this time you control the player's gravity. Now I'm in a game where you have to prevent circles from hitting the main core by controlling the small circle rotating around it. Again the same idea but this time you have to click on the falling circles to destroy them. Then a mimic for my 6th game, but this time you have to dodge those boxes rather than hitting them. Now another game in which you have to shoot projectiles to the other end of the screen without hitting the rotating bar in the middle. In the next game you shoot different color projectiles depending on the target's color by pressing left key for green and right for orange. And if you fail, it's game over. Again the same idea, but this time you control the target's colors. For the 20 second game, you have to click the circle before 2 seconds, or else it's game over. I know it's silly, but things become very hard at this level. Then again the same idea as the nice game but this time you control whether to stop or start moving by clicks. Then once more a shooting game in which you left click for a down shot and right click for an upward shot. Same idea but this time left and right. Then I made a simple memory game in which you have to remember the places of those blue boxes and click them after the screen turns off. The 27th one in this list is not actually a game, it's a counter, but hey it counts as one, it's also entertaining. For the 28th game I made a platformer game but this time it's upside down cause why not? Again a fluffy bird replica in which you dodge those moving platforms by controlling gravity. In the 30th game, you have to move those boxes to the other side of the screen. Then 
I really used this mechanic, but this time you have to sort those boxes according to the color. Then I entered a round of creativity, so the 30 second game is the same as the first one, but upside down. 33rd, again a replica for the second one, but upside down. Then the same as the third one, but also upside down. Then once more a Flappy Bird replica, but this time a real one. The 36th game is a minesweeper, where you have to go from one side of the screen to the other by dodging hidden mines which you'll find their places by an indicator in the upper corner of the screen. Then I made a game in which whenever you press the mouse button you give force to the pole and your goal is to go as high as you can. In the 38th one, you have to move those boxes to clean the pass in front of you. Then once more a game like the first one but this time on its side. For the 40th game I made an AA replica. Then the same concept, but this time you control the rotation of the target ball. Then once more, a copy of my second game, but on its side. Then a game in which you have to fill this rectangle with smaller blue ones. But the trick here is that you can't push a small one, you only lift them, drag them. But the trick here is that you can't push a small one. You only lift them or drag them. Then a simple shooting game in which you click on the target to shoot it. After that a replica for my 10th game but this time you control the shooting angle. After that, I did the same idea with my 11th game. Now I made a game in which you have to press different keys to shoot different colored bullets at equivalent colored targets while aiming by the mouse motion. Again I did the same idea with my second game but now you can change the color of your bullets. For the 49th game, I did the same idea as the 6th one, but this time you have to click different mouse buttons for different colored squares. And finally, for the 50th and final game of this challenge, I made a square which is anchored to the center of the screen, and you have to shoot different colored bullets at randomly generated boxes all over the screen. And as usual, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.